And we're here at the University of Pikeville for football action. Last game of the season, it'll be Georgetown and UPike, a rivalry that begins from the day of the club days in football. We'll see how this one will work out today for the Bears. Bears come in at uh, three and three on the season. Dropped their last game to Cumberland's in a close one, 31 to 28. Set the kick for the Bears, number 29, Samuel Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, it's football time in Pikeville, Kentucky. Jake Johnson on the return. And sorry about that. Georgetown takes the opening kick off. They're bring ball out to about the 32-yard line. We have first and 10 for the Tigers. The Bears won the toss and elected to defer until the second half. So they will receive in the second half. We'll see the U Pike defense on the field first. And let's see. Upike, or Georgetown in the pistol formation. And looking to throw quickly right off the bat, and it's going to be complete, and it'll be caught by Jake Johnson from Somerset, Kentucky, the senior wide receiver. Number nine, Johnson, play and Zach Dampier, 16, the Miller. senior quarterback out of Danville with the toss, be a pickup of about eight, seven, be second down and three now coming up for the Tigers. Tigers will go split, twins to the, each way, shotgun formation for Dampier. There's motion going to the far side, Dampier, and we're going to have a flag. Be illegal procedure on the offense. That'll back them up five. It'll be second down and eight now coming up for the Tigers. So the Tigers have it second down and eight. In the huddle, Tigers out there. Bears defense uh, being tested here early. Opening pay was a pass. Georgetown now will split twins wide to the left. One wide out right. Slot to the left as well. So he trips left. Out of the under center this time. And Dampier back to throw quickly and gets it out. Thompson, nice catch and a nice spin. And he's going to be just short of the first down. Be a gain to about the 41-yard line. Bring up a third down and two. Third down. So a big third down and two coming up for the Bears here early on. The ball at the 41-yard line of Georgetown. Bears got the four-man front, looking at a 4-3 defense. Cheating up a little bit there, and Georgetown going to tight. One wide out wide to the right. Dampier under center, off-balance line. They're going to hand it off, and beautiful defense by the Bears. And I think they're going to hold him to a fourth down. So it'll be fourth and two coming up on the big stop. Is that 88 on the tackle for the Bears? Kinshaw Cooksey and Bab on the carry. They bring up a fourth down and two. So a punting situation here. Big punter back there for the Tigers. Let's see, Josh Edwards, a 6-6 senior back deep. That's a good-sized punter. Got a lot of leg to work with. Bears ready to return it. Low snap, he gets it off, and beautiful spiraling kick. Pike will walk off with a fair catch and make it at about the 18-yard line. That was Dalton. Let's see, trying to figure who it was made the catch there. Hard to see those numbers. So it'll be first and 10 now, so we'll see the Bear offense for the first time tonight. 
And let's see. Bears are getting ready to get into the offensive set. Got to look down and get those numbers. Kirkland in the shotgun. Bears have motion coming to the near side, make it three wide outs to this side. They're going to hand it off up the middle. And not much there that time. Maybe a yard, maybe, maybe no gain. Let's see, is that Sanders in the backfield with him, I think? Or is that Richardson? So, and it'll be twins each way now for the Bears. Kirkland in the shotgun. Lee Kirkland, a true. And Kirkland will hand it off to Sanders again, and nothing. Maybe a yard. He'll get out to the close to the 20-yard line. We've got a timeout on the field. We've got a flag underneath there. What we got? Officials. See, flags right there could be a hold. <clears throat> Okay, be an unsportsmanlike conduct on the Bears. And that'll back them up 10 yards or half the distance of the goal line. Actually, it'll move them back. So we'll bring up third down and about 17 from the 10-yard line. Trips this time, or one wide out wide to the left. One wide out right, Bears have it third down and 19. Pistol formation, Kirkland. Gets everybody set. Takes the snap and Kirkland will throw it. Got a man to cross middle, incomplete, in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Artis Clark, uh, normally a sure head in receiver, can't hold on to it. Bring up fourth down and 19, so the Bears will be forced to punt and should end up giving the Tigers pretty good field position here on the opening punt of the ball game for Pike. Bears go three and out. And they'll line back up with the punting unit. Dropping back to punt it away, a Sandorf. Sandorf, sorry. And Sandorf ready to punt it away. Good snap, he gets it away, and that's going to be an end over end if they don't catch it. Now they're going to field it near midfield. Good run, coming back to the outside, and really good cut back. He'll go ball down to the 20-yard line. That was Jeremy Adams, I believe, on the return. So it'll be first and 10 at the 20-yard line. So the Bears give up the short field to the Tigers here in this second possession of the ball game. So 11-10 to go here in the first quarter. No score, but Georgetown right on the verge of the red zone here to start this ball, this drive. One wide out each way, a slot to the left as well. And here comes motion out of the slot. Back to throw. And across the middle, and actually Johnson, his favorite target. And does he get in? Touchdown, yes. See right now, you need to get a, you need to get a man on Johnson. To make sure he's covered up because he is the favorite target of uh, the quarterback in this one. And I'm telling you, that's something that they've got to really work on. Georgetown ready to try to make it seven to nothing here with 11:04 to go in the first. On to attempt Chris Klein, the uh, kicker, to attempt the extra point. Extra point is up. It is good. So it's seven to nothing. Georgetown with 11:04 to play here in the first quarter, and let's see what the Bears come back with uh, as this game continues. Bears just you know, got didn't get great field position to start that first drive, and were unable to move the football. Tried to run it a couple of times. We we'll have to try to figure out some way to open up that Georgetown defense a little bit. They're kind of packing it in, expecting them to. Uh, 
you know, expecting them to try to run the ball to start the ball game. Bears going to, have to maybe come out with some short passes, especially using the uh, the freshman quarterback coming in here today and uh, Kirkland. Kirkland, uh, his second start of his young career, he had to step in last week. He is from Buff. Buffton High School in Buffton, South Carolina, 6'6", 245-pound freshman. But he's going to be put under the gun here today uh, by this Georgetown Tigers team coming in as a ranked team. I think they're in, they're in the top 25, I know, for the NAIA here in this spring season. Georgetown kick, teeing it back up, ready to kick it away. And it'll be Chris Klein again to kick it away. See if the Bears can get a good return here on this one. And here comes the kick. And it's going to be a little pooch kick. And it'll be taken at the 25-yard line and out to about the 34, looks like. One of the up men with the return. Jordan Kimball. I'm sorry, wrong number seven. So the Bears will have it first and 10 now. And let's see if they can move the football a little bit this time. Twins each way coming out for the Bears. Kirkland will be in the shotgun. Let's see, that's, I think Sanders back there with him. And Kirkland looking to throw right off the bat and he's got a man. It's going to be caught, and it's going to be a short gain, about four yard, three, three yards on the play. Artis Clark on the catch. The Bears really need to establish that, try to spread it out a little bit, get that defense to open up a little bit, because right now they're packing in against the running game. And the Bears really, and when you go to that short passing game, it's the same as a running game in a lot of ways anyway. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Kirkland this time is going to hand it off up the middle. And there's a good run by Sanders. He'll get out across the 40 to about the 42. So bring up a third down and short now for the Bears. Third looks like in about two coming up. Let's see if they can settle in here. We've got a Pike, U-Pike player down. So it'll be third down and two as the coaching staff come out to check on their player. Okay, it's 35, no, 84 is down. 74, sorry, 74 is down out there for the Bears. 74 is Jalen Stone from Shelbyville, the red shirt senior we just, that just got honored earlier here before the ball game. Today is senior day for U Pike. We've got 10 15 to go here in the first quarter. 7 0 lead for Georgetown. The Bears gave them that short field advantage and they were able to take care of it, but he's getting ready. Stone's getting ready to walk off under his own power. That's great to see. Probably see him back out there in, in just a few moments as big, the senior. Want to get as much playing time as he can today. And waiting for the team to come back out and be ready to play. There they go. Kirkland again, the quarterback. He had a pretty good game last week. Cut, did throw a couple of interceptions, but you know that's that's you know you're a freshman. That's that's a possible first game you've ever started. So hopefully he settled down a little bit today and can make some. And but he made some big throws as well. So it'll be twins left, one wide out right now for the Bears. And Kirkland going to run a little quick pitch and nothing. Sanders is going to lose about three yards on the play. And now they're going to have to punt it away again. So fourth and six now coming up for the Bears. So obvious punting situation. Officials getting the personnel from both teams onto the field. They're going to have to come in and uh, change some things up here offensively. Try to get something going. Sandorf back to punt it away. Bears, everybody set. Sandorf ready to punt it away. Gets a punt away. Good punt. Nice punt. That's going to should, should take a U-Pike bounce. And they'll down it at about the 30, 26, 27 yard line. So they'll put him on the 26 is where they say he downed it at. So first and 10 now for the Tigers. 
Bears able to hold them on their opening drive, but then gave them the short field the last time and couldn't couldn't keep them out of the end zone. Let's see if they can get something turned around and try to get the ball back here and get this offense on track. So Zach Dampier, the 6'3 senior out of Danville, will go under center this time. He'll have a wide out and a slot to either side. Got one back behind him, and he's going to hand it off in the backfield, and the Bears right there on the run. Maybe a gain of one, no more than that, if that. We'll see where they finally spot the ball at, but really be, it'll be second down and long coming up. We'll call it second down and nine as the Bears right there in the hole to meet him as he came through. Let's see. Trying to get that number of their running back. Trips right this time, one wide out left. Dampier under center. Bears cheating in, looking, he's gonna throw it out wide and Bears gotta make the tackle here. And gonna bring up a third down now for Georgetown. So third and one looks like now coming up for the Tigers. Ball at about the 35 yard line. So big play coming up this time for the defense. Let's see if the Bears can get a stop. They've been pretty good against the running game so far. They've had a couple of nice stops to start the ball game. Let's see if they, that trend will continue. Twins to the left, one right, one wide out to the left, twins right. And Dampier in the shotgun, and he's looking to throw on third and one, and it's incomplete. So now it'll be fourth down and one. Looks like they're going to go. Will, will they go for it on fourth and one? I don't see the punter coming on. Yep, here comes the punt team coming on. Interesting call there to go for it, you, you know, on fourth down and one to throw the football. Most teams would, would run it in that situation. Back for the Bears to return is Sanders. So Sanders deep, Bears up with the They'll watch for the fake punt in these short yardage situations because, like I say, big punter like that. And the Bears come after it, almost get it. Sanders makes the fair catch at the 30-yard line, so it'll be first and 10 now for the Bear offense. So the Bear defense has had two stops here early. Uh, did give up the early touchdown on the short field at the 20. And let's see if the Bear offense can get on track. They've been three and out twice already to start the ball game. And let's see. Of course, again, young quarterback in there. He's got to uh, kind of find his place. Lee Kirkland, who will be the tailback on this drive. Looks like that might be Jalen, Jaden Neese, number 23, in it to tailback this time. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Kirkland out of the shotgun. Kirkland gets everybody set. Takes his snap and hands it to Nice. Nice with a hole, and Nice squirts out to about the 35-yard line. Call it to 30. They're going to mark him at the 34 or the 35. The 34 be a gain of four. Second down and six. Bears, you may want to see them stretch the field out a little bit, maybe throw one deep here, see if they can loosen that Georgetown defense up some because they are really looking for the running game. Nice with a nice pickup that time of four. And the Bears will come out with trips to the left, one wide out right. Kirkland in the shotgun. Nice back there with him. Back to throw. And, boy, nice, nice grab out there for the first down. That was Ty, or Damian Sutton. With the nice one-handed grab there to pull it down. He is a sophomore wide receiver from Miramar, Florida, 6'390 pounds. That's a nice target to throw at if you're Kirkland out of the backfield. Bears again coming out in that semi in a spread formation to be twins each way. Kirkland in the shotgun. Nice back there with him. And he's going to hand it to Nice. Nice is going to get no gain on the play. Maybe a loss of a half a yard. Let's see. It'll bring up sec second down, and we'll call it second down and 11. 
So Bears been, Bears been pretty consistent running the ball on first down. Look maybe for him to come out the next time on the first down and get and throw the football. So second down and 11. Trips to the left. Trips right, one wide out left. Fakes the handoff to Nice, throws it out, and that's got to be – there's a bump there, guys. Come on, yeah, give him the call. That was an obvious, that was an obvious bump by the uh, defender. So that'll be – be 10 yards, and I don't know if that's an automatic first down or not. They're going to call defense. They're going to call a hold or pass interference. I mean, it's either or. Pass interference should be an automatic first down. First down. So it'll be a first down. Is that? Ladies and gentlemen, your women's national champion bowling team is passing out water throughout the state. Ah. Remember, stay hydrated. The national championship bowling team out there making their appearance, and there's a nice pass and a, and a catch. Boy, nice hand, nice hands, nice feet out there too. Pretty good run. It could be a first down. Is that? Uh, Ben Henson, the red shirt freshman out of Lyman, South Carolina, with the first down. 5.35 to play here in the first half, first quarter. 7 nothing Georgetown, but the Bears moving the football a little bit now. And this time we're going to hand it off to Nice again. Nice trying to get up the middle, and he's going to get about a yard, and that's it. Gets the ball out to the 40-yard line. So Bears in Georgetown territory for the first time tonight. And Georgetown's number 44 on the tackle. I don't see a 44, but, you know. Vandersmoot on the catch, tackle. Pikeville comes back out. Looks like it'll be, look like a double tight, one wide out each way. And we're going to bring motion back for him to try to run the football. Nope, we're going to throw it out of that pack. Going down deep, got a one-on-one, -on -one. get it, and overthrows his intended receiver out there. Is that, I believe he was looking for Ben Henson again. So bring up third down and nine. So, but I think that I think that's a good play to air it out and open up that defense a little bit, make them respect that you will throw deep and not let them cheat up into the hole so much. Try to open up the lanes, running lanes a little bit in there for the Bears. Kirkland now in the shotgun. He's got trips to the right, one wide out left. Georgetown bringing some pressure again. He throws it again across the middle, incomplete. That ball might have been tipped a couple times. And it'll bring up fourth down and nine. See, what will they do? Will they go for it on fourth? Nope. Looks like they're going to bring the punt team in again here. So fourth and nine, the Bears set to punt it away again here. Kirkland uh, trying to get uh, get this team on track. Made some, made a couple nice plays on that drive. Now let's see if they just keep building on that. Number nine is Johnson back deep for Georgetown. Sandoff will punt it away. Sandor puts a boot to it, and he's going to kick it away from him. And that one is going to – can they stay it? Nope, can't get it. It'll go into the end zone. Too much leg on them. It'll come out to the 20. So it'll be first and 10 coming up now for the Georgetown Tigers. 4.32 to play here in this first quarter. 7 nothing lead for the Tigers. Both teams have played pretty well defensively. The Bears – on that opening uh, punt, well, the ball game gave up a, a too good, gave up a return and brought it back to the 20 yard line, and that was when Georgetown was able to get everything to go. And that's why they're on top seven to nothing. Other than that, both teams have been pretty much at a standstill defensively here. And here come the Tigers. Trips this time to the right, one wide out left. Dampier will go under center. Long snap count. Dampier wanting to throw it out there quickly, and he'll catch it and be knocked out of bounds immediately after a pickup of about five. That was uh, 81 for the Tigers. Uh, Victor Johnson, I think he's it. 
Nope, that's wrong. My bad, wrong roster. I'll say that didn't look right. Noah Kimmer. So second down and six, they saw the gain of four. One wide out split each way, slot each way. And this time they're going out of the shotgun and there's a little quick pitch out of the backfield. And the Bears read that one pretty well. Going to go down to about the, see, is he going to gain a yard or is he going to lose a yard? Wait. He's actually going to lose some yardage. Bryson Cobb on the carry. Tyrell Jones on the uh, tackle. Bears defense playing pretty well. Twins right, one wide out left. Dampier going out of the shotgun looking to throw again. Dampier throwing it downfield, and that was going to be overthrown, incomplete. And that'll bring up fourth down and another punting situation for the Tigers. So both been a defensive battle here other than that opening punt by the Bears. See if the Bears can get something going on a return here. They've not been able to return any of these punts by the senior. So Josh Edwards, the 6'6 senior, back to punt it away. And back to return is Sanders, a red shirt sophomore out of Hazel, Hazelhurst, Georgia. And again, another high end over end punt, another fair catch being called for and fumbled. And I think Georgetown may have come up with it. We have not had a signal yet, but I uh, look like Georgetown had it. Let's see. And UPike able to recover that on a Bears caught a break there, able to recover that muffed kick. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Bear offense. They don't want to give Georgetown another one of those short fields like they did earlier. Bears actually come out with decent field position out of that. The ball will be right at the 40, 43 yard line. First and 10 for the Bears. 314 to go here in the first quarter. First and 10. And let's see, the Bears going to have to hurry. Only got 19 seconds on the play clock. Get to run a play very quickly here. And they're down under 10 seconds on the play clock. They're going to have to get in and run a play very quickly. Trip stacked to the right, one wide out left. And quickly going to hand it to Sanders up the middle. Sanders breaks through. Got a man to beat. Takes it down to try to split these two defenders. Sanders, nice cutback. Out to the right side. Gets down inside the 10. First and goal for the U-Pike Bears. Sanders picks up a chunk of yardage. So 43, so it'd be 50, 57, 58 yards on the carry. First and goal now for the Bears. So first and goal for the Bears. One wide out split each way. That's Nice, I think, or is that Sanders? They'll get it down inside to five. Call it to four. So that was um, Nice. Was that Sanders on the carry? Okay. So that's Nice coming in now. I'm sorry. Hard to see in this sunlight. And Nice going to try to carry it up. Nice pushing it, pulling his way. In. Does he get it into the end zone? And no. Second effort, he does. Touchdown. U Pike, a four yard. A four-yard drag as Nice struck half the Georgetown Tigers into the end zone with him to get the Bears to within one, seven to six with 2.12 to play here in this first quarter. Jaden Nice showing off his strength out there for the Bears, able to keep those feet churning. The 6'2", 295-pound sophomore running back out of Perry Central High School. Here comes the extra point attempt. That is Headley. Jacob Headley puts a boot to it. That one's going to be blocked. And we've got a flag. Try, they're going to they're advance the try to advance the kick if the Bears 
Cuts back to the inside, and he may take it in for the two points if, if it counts, but there is a flag back here on the play. Let's see what the flag will be. Bears are pointing, saying it's on the Tigers. Let's see. And it's an obvious, if it is on the Tigers, it's obvious that you will take the penalty. Let's see. Officials over are having a discussion about it. I don't know that the Georgetown Tigers realize that there's a flag on the field down there. They're not looking in that direction. And let's see. We see no indication from anybody. If it's all sides on the Tigers, that'll be a huge play for them to save the Bears a lot. May go back to the two-point conversion because that will be half the distance of the goal line penalty. The official still discussing it out there. I mean, how is it that hard of a decision to make? You know, you throw the flag, you say, I saw this. Whitehead says, okay, let's mark it off. I mean, why do you have to have a huddle of every official on the field and take five minutes to discuss what is a simple play? Or there's, or there's a penalty on the Bears. They're going to take the touchdown. We get it over with. I don't understand the length of time it takes to, and he's still discussing it. I don't know what the problem is here. Unless it's not an all-sides penalty, maybe it's something else. And they're trying to figure out how to administer it, but, you know. And they are going to go to the Tigers and talk about it, so this may be on Pikeville. So let's see what the call is. Does it make it a, does it make it a dead ball? And now he's going to come over here and talk to the Bear, well, maybe not. He's going to talk to the officials again. They're still going to talk about it. So he went and talked to Coach something. Now he goes, well, I don't know if that was right or not what you said. Let's just figure it out. Really? You know, your your college officials, this shouldn't be that difficult. And we've got another meeting of the minds. Either that or is my buddy Ken Hall, you say they're odd man and to see who gets to say what to tell us what's going on. And they're still in a discussion. And here comes the white hat. What's the call going to be? Is it going to be a holding call on the Bears? If it's holding, then they will they will decline. And evidently, it's going to be on the Bears from the looks of things. They're still discussing it with Coach Holland. And... The official sitting there explaining it to Coach Holland. And they're trying to decide what the call is going to be here. And they're shaking their head, not to, not agreeing with Coach Holland at all. And the officials are still, now they're going to go discuss it again. So, <laughs> and we've got a, uh, I mean, you know, is this an unusual penalty we've never seen before? I mean, I don't know what the big deal is here. I mean, it, it is what it is, whatever it is, just call it and get it over with. And they're still discussing it. And I think the guy that, I thought it looks like the guy, is this the guy that threw the flag standing here by himself back here at the spot or what? I don't know. Yeah. Crazy. You know, they're, they're coming back to Coach Holland about it again. Let's see. Are they going to call a dead ball foul and mark a penalty off for after the, the play? Who knows? I mean, it's just... A face mask on in the interior line? I have never seen a face mask on the interior line. No wonder. That's something you don't see very often. The point after the two-point conversion stands for Georgetown, so they lead it nine to six. That's an odd one right there, folks. 
But even at that, you knew that if that was going to be your call, that Georgetown was going to decline the penalty, it's going to be a point after it was going to count. So why not just make that statement and get on with it? That's the part that really bothers me about that whole situation is you just waited so long to make a decision. I mean, it is what it is. It's a, if it's a call, it's a call. If it's not, just move on. So Georgetown now will receive as the Bears give them two points and have to kick it off after scoring the touchdown. So I think that's going to be Bears ready to kick it away. Phillips, I think, is the kicker, and he's going to kick it deep. And this one is going to bounce down the sideline and out of bounds. So the Tigers will come out with good field position again. That was a long, long call. So the Tigers now will have it, I think, at the it's at the 35. Yes, they're going to spot it at the 35. First and 10 now for Georgetown. 2-12 to go here in the first quarter. 9-6 Georgetown. So here come the Tigers back out on the offensive end. Tigers under center, split max in the backfield, double tight look, one wide out wide to the right, and this is going to be an obvious running down. And the Bears do a pretty good job of it. They'll hold him to the 44, pick up a four, second down and six. And the carry was by number four, Darius Barber. So the Bears come up, stop it, second down and six now. Georgetown again will come up. This time they'll go out of the pistol. They'll have trip to the left, one wide out right. Dampier takes the snap. He is looking to throw. Those quickly across the middle are going to be short hopped, incomplete. So it'll bring up third down and six now for the Tigers. Minute 32 left here in the first quarter. As the sun's starting to set here in Pikeville, Kentucky on a beautiful April afternoon. Heading into evening, and again, the Georgia Georgetown Tigers trying to get a first down here. It'll be trips to the left again, one wide out right. Shotgun formation for Dampier. Dampier takes it, back to throw again. Bears with some rush. They got some pressure on him. Got a hand on him, and he'll throw it out of bounds. Incomplete. And... Good rush that time by the Bears. Let's see who it was that forced that throw. If you'll turn it. So number 49 for the Bears, McLean, the junior out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Sanders back to return again for the Bears. And Edwards back to punt it away. And there's the, got the rush on, and that one's going to be short. Everybody needs to get away from that one. Georgetown's going to take a Georgetown bounce, though. Now it bounces back for the Bears to the 31. Will be first down now for the Bears. So the Bears first in 10. They were able to make a nice drive on that last one to put themselves on the scoreboard. They now trail 9-6. to six. Had the extra point blocked and returned for the two-point conversion for the the return or the I guess the defense. Special teams will pick up the bonus on that one. Twins each way now for the Bears. Kirkland is going to hand it off. No, fakes it, throws it out. Nice job, and it's going to be a first down grab for the Bears. Was that number 17, Stafford? DeAndre Stafford on the catch. A, a freshman, 6'268 pounds, out of Opalaka, Florida. 
Trips to the left, one wide out to the whites. The look for the Bears now. And in the shotgun this time, Kirkland. Kirkland and fakes it, throws it across the middle again, going to be caught. And another first down. That one goes out to Damian Sutton. <coughs> So Damian Sutton with another catch, and that's another Bears first down. So 37 seconds left here in the first quarter. The Bears moving the football, picks up a couple of chunk yardage plays, about 10 yards apiece. And they'll come out now. Crips to the left, one wide out right, out of the pistol, and again, going to throw it out wide to Sutton. Sutton able to get laced from one, can't get loose from the other, and he'll go down on a loss of two on the little screen pass. And that will probably be the last play of this first quarter as it'll bring up second down and 12 for the Bears. 9-6 Georgetown on the U-Pike Sports Network. We'll be right Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. Getting ready to start the second quarter. Bears trail nine to six, but they have the football and they've been able to move it a little bit now on the uh, Tigers as they've been able to get a few short passes. I, like we talked earlier, that long, uh, that long throw really helped the Bears out to open up that off that defensive space from the Bears, I mean, from the Tigers and give them a chance to move the football a little bit more. So Bears come out with trips to the right, one wide out left. Kirkpatrick, I mean, I'm sorry, Kirkland will go out of the shotgun. Kirkland looks to hand it off, looks to throw it again. Nice little pass. That's another first. Oh, nice turn and move. Cuts back to the inside. One man to beat. Cuts between two. He'll go down inside the 10 where it'll be. Well, did he fumble it? Or, no, it's going to be a touchdown. <clears throat> he, so he catches it. Fumbles it, the Bears pick it up, run it into the end zone to take the lead, 12 to nine. Been a strange first half here so far, folks. I think that was Damian Sutton with the catch who got the uh, scoop and score. I think we're saying nine, Ray Raymond, Ray Trying to figure out who got the cover. Here comes the extra point attempt. Another low snap. This one's up. This one looks good, and it is. So now the Bears lead 13 to nine with 14:48 to go here in the first half. So a good uh, start for the Bears here to start this second quarter. Took them uh, 22 seconds to score and get uh, take the lead here. So. So, so nine, okay, so, so Ray, Ramon, Raymond caught it, and when he fumbled it, Damian Sutton scooped it up and scored. So, anyway, the Bears lead 13 to nine, no matter who that was. So, it's a four point lead for the Bears. But now, you know, that's an odd number. So, that may lead to be a problem down the stretch here, as, you know, that, that two point it, Bears could have been ahead, you know, 14 to seven right here. But, you know, they didn't get it done. And now they'll kick it away. Zaniel Phillips on to do the kickoff duties here. Back for the Tigers is at 20, 23. 
Brandon Leaf. And number 11, Babb. And Bryson Cobb back deep. Phillips set to punt it away, or kick it away, not punt it away. Samuel Phillips has it teed up and waiting on the officials. And now we're ready to go. And Phillips puts a boot to it, another line drive kick. Babb will take it at the five yard line, comes out to the outside, gets a block and gets forced out of bounds at about the close to the 30. Looks like they're going to put him out of bounds on the 30. It's going to be first and 10 now for the Tigers. Now the sun's gone down. It's going to be a little bit easier to see things out there. Take my hat off so that the I don't get my face sunburned. It's been, like I say, it's been a beautiful day today. I think I saw it on my car thermometer. It said like 90 degrees at one point. <coughs> Excuse me. And... Tigers in the pistol. Back to throw, Dampier, he's going to have a man, and Bears hold on to him. He almost slipped free. They're going to get him out to the, well, they're going to mark him at the 36-yard line. Looks like gain of six, second down and four. So gain of six, second down and four. Second down. Georgetown team that likes to put the ball in the air quite a bit here so far tonight. So we got number 30, Conley, at the tailback out of the pistol. One wide out, wide left, slot each way, and they're going to hand it to Conley. Conley takes it up the middle. He's going to get going to be right at the marker, so it'll be a first down at the 40. So Conley picks up four yards, be first and 10. And we've got an official timeout here. Oh, we have an injured player. That's what it is. Is that? Uh, let's see, Dampier in the quarterback. Both teams coming back out, getting back out on the field, getting ready. And here comes that personnel running in from both sidelines. 13.50 left here in this first half. Bears on top 13 to eight, or 13 to nine, I'm sorry. Wide out in the slot to each side. Dampier in the shotgun and looking to throw. Throws it out quickly, it's gonna be caught. And nice little rub play by the Tigers, you gotta give them that one. That was number four on the catch, Darius Barber. But his uh, mate in the uh, Wide receiver core turned around and made a nice block to free him up on the sideline to get the first down at the 45-yard line. Dampier again in the huddle. Brings his team back up the line of scrimmage. Wide out wide to the right, slot each way, pistol formation. Dampier going to hand it off, and there's going to be a nice run. And the big boy gets out to about the 35-yard line. It'll be right at the mark for a first down. That was number 11 on the carrier, Zach Babb. So Babb picks up 10 yards in the first down. First and 10 now at the 35. Best drive of the day for the Tigers. They'll come out now with... Twins wide to the right, or trips right, one wide out left. Under center, Dampier, and he looked to throw it out quickly, and it's going to be incomplete. Bears had to jump on that one. Bears had to jump on that one. And he'll bring up second down and 10 on the incompletion. Twelve thirty-six to play, first quarter, first half. 13-9, U-Pike with the lead. And the Tigers have it second down and 10. Dampier out of the pistol. One wide out wide right, slot to each side. Normally a running 
formation for them. Let's see. Nope, he's going to throw it. And he's looking deep, trying to go downfield. And now he's being chased, gets it out. And he'll be caught but tackled at the 29-yard line. That's number 16, 16. That was Bryce Bow. Nope. That's number, 80, number 80 Mullins on the reception. 16 Cameron Miller on the tackle. Cameron Miller, a redshirt sophomore out of Southwestern in Somerset. Pistol formation again, wide out, wide left. Slot each way. This time we're going to hand it off up the man. Big hole to the outside. Bears trying to stretch him out, and they're going to him the, get him the first down at the 23-yard line. Was that Bab again? It was. Dublin with the tackle. First and 10. So, so far, a really good-looking drive for Georgetown. First down and 10. Now 11.38 to go here in the half. Bears leading 13 to 9. Tigers come back up the line of scrimmage. Dampier out of the pistol. Same formation this time. The wide house wide to the right. Slot each way. Dampier. Looking to throw again, and that ball batted down and incomplete. Number three, Josh Irvin, the Johnson Central Junior. Six, four, 235. Second down and 10. That big mid up there and got a swat at it. Let's see. Split backs in the backfield. This time under center. And they're going to try to run it to the outside. Bears really good pursuit down the line. He's going to get a couple, and that's going to be – he's going to get a yard, and that's going to maybe no gain. It's like he's going to get no gain on the play. Nice job that time, Bears stretch it out. He'll gain a yard. Should be third down and nine. And the Tigers will go out of the pistol. Twins trips left, one wide out right. Dampier out in the shotgun. Takes it in, looking to throw. Bears coming after him. Dampier being flushed, throws it on the run, and it is... Did he catch it? Touchdown. So the Tigers make it 15-13. Nice throw by the senior on the roll. Number four with the catch is Barber. A 35-yard touchdown. Exit. 25-yard touchdown grab. Here comes the extra point attempt. And it's up and looks to be good. And it is, so it is 17-13. With 10-26 remaining. Oh, it's actually 16-13. 10-26 left here in the first half. We'll be right back. This is Intermountain This is the... UPAC Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. 16-13, Georgetown with the lead on the nice pass into the end zone to Barber from Dampier to make it a three-point game. Tigers retake the lead. They're set to kick it away again here. Back deep for the Bears is Ben Henson on the near side. I can't see the on the other side. <clears throat> Not sure who's on the far side. 
Georgetown setting it up, getting ready to kick it away. Let's see if they'll kick it deep or will they kick the pooch kick again? There's the kick. It's going to be a little pop-up, and they're going to call a fair catch with it at the 26-yard line. Let's see if they spotted it to 25. That was number nine, Randy Raymond. And let's see where they're going to spot him at. At the okay, at the 26. 26 yard line, first and 10. See if the Bears can come back and answer here. Able to have a really nice drive on the last one. Trip stacked to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland in the shotgun. Sanders back there with him. He's going to hand it to Sanders this time. Sanders got a hole, and Sanders going to pick up nine yards on the play. And the tackle was by nine yards on the play for the – yeah, we don't have a 10 on the roster. Trips right, one wide out left. Pistol formation. And again, he's going to hand it to Sanders. Sanders, another hole. Sanders out to the outside. He's across midfield. 40, 30. And he'll go out of bounds. Like I said, he stepped out of bounds at about the 25-yard line, I think. Nope, we're going to move it back. Said he stopped, stopped, stepped out of bounds at the 32. Big play again for the Bears. And, you know, we talked about when you're able to stretch that field out by throwing the football down the field, that stretches that defense. It gives you a lot better chance to run the football. Trips left, one wide, trips right, one wide out left. And looking downfield, and it's going to be caught. Beautiful catch. No, so it's incomplete. Okay, now it is complete. Damian Sutton. And another bear first down. When the Bears were able to mix it up, go about 50-50 run and pass, they're able to really open up that look on the defense, making the defense have to make a guess. And this time they're going to hand it off inside. That's Nice. And Nice will get out to about the nine-yard line maybe, or ten. Initial number ten. Second down and nine. So second down and nine, pick up of a yard. Bears will go with one wide out each way. Out of the shotgun. Kirkland takes it, and he's looking to throw. And that ball incomplete. So bring up third down and nine now for the Bears. The offense, defense able to hold the run, the wide receiver up that time, not letting him get to his spot. And let's see. They're showing one wide out wide each way, slot to the right as well. I think it's Sanders in the backfield. I can't see his number. Bears hustling up, trying to gonna change the look up. Maybe going to have to call a timeout here, it looks like. And they do. Timeout, U-Pike 16-13, Georgetown, with 8.23 to play here in the first half. This is the U-Pike Sports Network. And we're back here at the Hamley Athletic Complex. The Bears threatening third down and nine from the 10-yard line here. They can get a first down if they can get it into the end zone. Bears going to come back out with that spread look. Trips to the right. 
see Sanders will be in the backfield along with Kirkland. Kirkland will set up in the shotgun formation. All three wideouts to the right side. Look for maybe to bring a rush off the outside. Bears picking it up. Kirkland has time. Throws across the middle. And incomplete. Good defense that time by the Tigers. So fourth down and nine. Now, do you go for the – yeah, they're going to looks like they're going to go for the field goal here. Fourth down. Yeah, they're going to come in uh, and try to kick the field goal. Who we got? Is that Headley? Headley, Headley. Getting ready to kick it here. It would be a – Got the distance. It is good. And we're tied at 16 with 8.14 to play here in the first half on the U-Pike Sports Network. Welcome back to Hamble Athletic Complex. We're tied at 16 now, 8.14 to go here in the half. As the Bears have come alive here, had a good drive, got the ball down to the 10, and Headley able to punch it in about a 20, about a 30-yard field goal. I'm not sure what the actual number on it was. So the Bears now will kick it away and see if they can get another defensive stop. Number 11 back deep is Bab. And also, is that 23 or 25? Uh, Bryson Cobb, 25, I think. Bears set to kick it away. Zaniel Phillips has it teed up, and we're ready to go. Phillips puts a little pop-up kick, and... Georgetown will try to return it at about the 20-yard line. Bears come back, make a nice play, and it'll be first and 10 from the 19 now for the Georgetown Tigers. So the Bears come up, uh, make a pretty good play on the uh, kick. The special teams have played well other than the two-point conversion. Other than that, uh, the, they played well today. Let's see what we'll do, what will happen from here on out. And the Tigers come out with one wide out, split wide to the left, slot each way. Dampier in the shotgun, and he's going to hand it off to the big guy out of the mech, and he's not going to get nothing this time. So that would have been uh, Zach Babb, I think, on the carry. Is that 11? No, 43, my bad. 43 is Jalen Lumpkin. Lumpkin 16-16, 7.40 to play here in the first half. One wide out wide to the right this time in the shotgun. Again is Dampier. Dampier looking to throw this time. Bears get a rush on him, and it's going to be, did he hold on to it? Officials make it, they're going to give him a call, catch. Catching that one on his back, he was drilled, and it bounced right back into his hands. Bring up a third down and seven. Gain of two on the play. Big third down coming up now for the Bear defense. Bears need to get a stop here and get another chance. They get a stop here, get the football, punch it in, and then come back out in the second half with the ball. They get a chance to answer, get some unanswered points. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Back the throw is Dampier. Dampier under in. Steps up into the pocket, throws, and oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. It's going to be, I think he's going to be short. No, they're going to give it to him. Man, it looks short from here, but not even a measurement. Was it? What? Man, usually you get a measurement there. If I'm, I believe I'd ask for one. First and 10. 
Vipers. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first half. 16-16. Tigers with it. One wide out and a slot each way. Dampier in the shotgun. Looking to throw. Stepping back, throwing downfield. It's going to be caught. And it's going to be a first down. That was 81 on the catch for the Tigers. Keemer. Have a bear down on the play. That's uh, 21 down for the Bears. Uh, Adonis Abels, a defensive back uh, freshman, 5'11", out of Lakeland High School in Lakeland, Florida. And looks like one of the wide receiver, the def defensive backs had a problem with a pad and was taking that pad off and kind of lost his concentration for a minute and gave up the big pass play. It'll be first down and 10 for the Tigers after they uh, – after the injury timeout here. Looks like he's getting up on getting up and coming back to the sideline. That's always good to see. Like to see that. 16-16, Bears and Tigers tied. 6-14 to go here in the first half. And everybody come, you pike taking the field, getting ready. Georgetown getting their final instructions over there from Coach Cronin and the staff. Coach Al Holland giving final instructions here to his defensive unit. And here come the Tigers. They'll come out now with the pistol formation. Wide out, wide right, slot each side. Dampier gets everybody set. And Dampier looking to throw under pressure. And that's a push in the back, no call. And is that going to be caught? Yep, they're going to give it to him. 13 on the catch for the Tigers. That's Will Thomas. Collins on the tackle for the Bears. Bring up second down and two. Pick up of eight on the play. 540 to play here in the first half. Thought the officials missed an obvious extended hand in the back in the backfield while they were trying to chase the quarterback. And that's more than three yards away from the line of scrimmage. Wide out, wide right, slot right. Here comes motion out of that. They're going to look to throw and throwing downfield. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown. 13 again on the catch. Will Thomas caught the Bears napping on that one. And now it is... 22-16. Bears didn't need that going in. Of course, they've got time to answer. Really, they need to answer going into the half. They get in at least tied at the half. Then you can come back with the ball to start the second half. That gives you the advantage to be playing from the lead, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. Here comes the extra point attempt. See if the Bears can get a hand on one, maybe get a break that the Tigers got earlier. Nope. Kicks up. Looks to be good, and it's 23-16 Georgetown with 5-10 to play here in the first half on the U-Pike Sports Network. Welcome back to Pikeville, Kentucky, 23-16. Georgetown has just taken the lead on a big pass play to uh, Will Thomas from Dampier and put the Tigers on top by seven. And the Bears will have it with 5-10 left here in the first half, try to score and tie this ball game up as they will have the ball to start the second half. So this is this is one of those crucial momentum type uh, moments for the, for the Bears here, if they can get the ball, get it down the field, put points on the board, open up in the second half with a chance maybe to put more points on the board with two back-to-back -back possessions. You only get that doesn't happen very often. 
and ready to kick it away. Deep, deep for the Bears. Dublin, Chris Dublin. Sanders. And here comes the kick. It's going to be another short kick. Bears will field it at the 30-yard line. And he's going to get out to about the 32. That's Raymond. Raminen, I'm not sure. So be Raminen on the, the catch and bring it up first and 10 at the 33 yard line. Or the 32. Be first and 10 now for the Bears. 4.54 left here in the first half. Pikes offensive unit coming back out. Be trips to the right, one wide out left. Pistol formation. And they're going to get one off quickly. They do. And quickly going to hand it off. And nothing. Sanders will lose three yards on the play. Second down and 13. Bears waited too long on the sideline that time, and nobody was fooled. So, you know, they, now they're back. They're going to have trips to the left. Trips right, one wide out left. Kirkland in the shotgun, looks like. Sanders back there with him. So second down and 12. And looking to throw, Kirkland sets and throwing deep. And that one is incomplete. Uh, looking for Artis Clark, too tall. But that's, pretty, that's pretty tough because Clark is 6'6". Six, six. It's pretty tough for when you throw it too tall for him, you put it up there. So third down and 12 now for the Bears. 4-16. They really need to get a first down here, keep this uh, drive going. They don't want to give the ball back to Georgetown here in the first half. And looking to throw it again. Throws it out across the middle. Got his man. And that'll be number seven, Damian Sutton. The number seven. Tackle by Rob Sheffield for Georgetown. Fourth down and two coming up now for the Bears. And let's see, looks like they're going to punt it away. Don't want to give them the ball back on the short field. That's, probably, that's, that's the safe call to make. Or you might see a fake punt here too. You never know. So the Tigers... Have one man back. Let's see, they've got Jones or Johnson back, sorry. And punts away. He gets one nice one. Driving him back inside the 15, goes back to the 10, and he'll get out to about the 22 yard line. Will be first and 10 for the Tigers. 3.18 to play here in the first half. So Johnson with the nice. Bears with a nice punt, able to hold him back, and we have a flag on the play. It looks like it's going to be on Georgetown because 83 uh, doesn't like the call. He's uh, arguing with the officials on it. Maybe a hold. Let's see. Block in the back. That was Tamir Jones, a senior wide receiver out of Norcross, Georgia. 23-16, Bears trail by seven. With 3.18 to play, that penalty will back the Tigers up inside the 15-yard line back to the 12. The 12, we think. Yep. So first and 10 now for the Tigers from the 12. See what Georgetown comes out with. They're going to leave one wide receiver wide to the right. It's the first thing you see. And they'll go with that slot to each side as well. And more under center this time, Dampier. And he's going to hand it off. And not much that time for Babb. Zach Babb on the carry. Looks like that was Tyler Lytle and Ty Tyrell Jones on the tackle. And let's see. 
Second down and nine, gain of one on the play. They'll split one wide out each way, a slot each way, and go out of the shotgun. In his shot, takes a snap, looking to throw. Dampier throwing it out quickly, and it's going to be incomplete. So third down and nine coming up now for the Tigers. Third down and nine. So third and nine coming up for the Tigers. Bears need to stop right here, try to get one more shot at getting the football back here in the first half. And they'll come back up the line of scrimmage. Tigers will have one wide out each way, slot each way as well. And they're going to go under center. Dampier takes it in, dropping back to throw quickly. Bears tried to come after him, got him chasing him in the end zone, and he throws it incomplete. Good pursuit and good rush that time by the Bears. So fourth and nine, Tigers will have to punt it away here. So the Bears will have 234 left to try to make uh, to make some plays. Dropping back deep for the Bears this time. Looks like that's 85, is that right? Colt Asher? Is that 85 back deep? Okay. Oh, yeah. That. Colt Asher back to return. And there's Georgetown's going to punt it away. High punt. And Asher fair, calls for the fair catch and makes it. And he'll be at the 35-yard line. Another nice punt by the uh, Josh Edwards, the senior punter for Georgetown. He's, he's been able to put a pretty good boot to the ball all night or all afternoon and evening, I guess. So 23-16, Georgetown with the lead. 2.25 left here in the first half. Pike will have it at the 35. Bears need come out to the field. Come out to the play a little quicker this time. 35-yard line, first and 10, Bears. Twins this time, or trips. Well, nope. Twins each way as they'll run a player off. Out of the shotgun. Quickly going to throw it out wide and incomplete. A little too tall out there for the intended receiver. I think he was looking for Sutton. Bears have two timeouts left here. Second down and 10. Bears, they need to get at least a first down or two on this drive. Don't give the ball back to Georgetown again. Twins right, one wide out left. And in the shotgun, Kirkland. And we have motion. Is that on the Bears? Yep. Can't, can't shoot yourself in the foot there. That'll bring up second down and 15. So bring up second down, 15. Kind of putting the Bears behind the sticks. So it means they got their forcing their hand to throw the ball a little bit more. Trips to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland out of the shotgun. Kirkland gets everybody set. Takes the snap, and he is going to hand it off, and nothing there. Going to lose yards, going to lose two more yards. Third and 17 coming up now for the Bears. Georgetown will call a timeout, 23-16 with 2.17 to play here in the first half. This is the U-Pike Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex. 23-16, Georgetown with the lead. And the Bears are going to be forced to punt it away here. Well, not, not yet. It's third down, third and 17. They're going to need a big play to make something happen. Trying to, I think, trying to, thought they might be able to surprise the Tigers by running the football on that third, second and long. See if they can make a play here, make something out of it. 
As now they ready to take the field. Bears get out in the line, ready to go. 23-16 again. Third and 17. Twins right, one wide out left. And back to throw. Pump's going to throw a little screen back to the inside and not going to get much out of that. Back out to about the 31-yard line. And looks like the Tigers will call another timeout here. 23-16, 209 to play. Georgetown trying to get another shot, maybe putting more points up on the board before halftime here if they can move the football. We'll just stay right here with it. Let's see. Look at some of these statistics here for the Bears. Bears average, right on their average, they average 24.8 points a game. They average giving up 25.5. That happened due to that first loss out there where they give up a bunch of, point, bunch of points. Georgetown scores about 21 points a game and gives up 16. So Georgetown ahead of their scoring average and also ahead of what they're giving up as they give, they give up 16 points. And the Bears already put that up here in the first half. Let's see what uh, Georgetown can do with it. They'll move Johnson back deep, I believe. Is that – can't see, see the number back there. Is that – is that yeah, – ready to punt it away? Are the Bears. Sandorf ready to punt it away. High snap over his head, and it's going to go into the end zone, and he'll have to take a safety. Man – Two points again for Georgetown. And it'll make it 25-16. That gives the Tigers a nine-point lead. And the Bears still have to punt the ball back to them here. Had a couple of, uh, couple of miscues in the kicking game here today. It cost the Bears four points. So like I say, it should be, really should be 17 should be 21-17. Well, but, you know, it's not. That's the way it is, yep. So 2.03 left here in the first half. And the Bears will have to punt it from the 20-yard line. And where's the white hat headed? That's a long way away from the play, but I guess so. So the Bears will have to have a free kick. You can kick it off of a tee if you want to, but you never see that. You'd have to have a holder, I think, to do that. Though. I think you can't use a tee. So Sandorf will be punting it away here. Try to see if he can get a boot to it and maybe get it over their heads. So Sandorf, uh, the... Freshman out of East Lake High School in Tarpon, Florida. Sandorf ready to punt it. Everybody set 203 to play here in the first half. A couple of miscues have cost the Bears points here tonight. Sandorf ready to put a boot to it. There's the whistle from the official. And he does, and got a pretty good boot to it. Makes them back up to field it, backs them back to the 15-yard line. And, boy, nice tackle at the 25. Beautiful job there by the Bears. Johnson on the return, 83 for the Bears. That is A.J. Jones. And A.J. Jones made a perfect tackle on their – uh, the official timeout. Let's see. I thought that was six on the return. That, well, let's see for George. Actually, it's not. Let me see who. Not sure who the return was, to be honest. Joan, Johnson, I think, wasn't it? Nine. Yeah, Johnson. So Johnson, and he took a pretty good, uh, pretty good lick there from the Bears. No. <laughs> and they get him up off the. Get him up off the ground, and he's going to walk back over. But i tell you what, he took a shot. 
a legal shot, nothing wrong with it, perfect tackle, because he, he dropped him right on the 25-yard line. Big, and, and as Andy Griff was saying, what it was was football. And let's see, the Bears defense out there ready to go, waiting on the Tigers. 25-16, Tigers by nine. Bears need to stop the bleeding here in the first half, try to go in and settle up. They got the ball to start the second half, so maybe they can make something happen. One wide out wide each way. And under center this time, Dampier. Dampier back and going to have a little draw action outside. And number 30 on the carry. Conley on the carry for Nick Conley, the senior out of Flatwoods, Kentucky. Troy Hill and Abel's on the Adonis Abel's on the tackle. Second down and two. Pickup of eight. And back to throw. Dampier throws it out across the middle, and he's going to be dropped, but not until he gets a first down. And it was Darius Barber on the catch. And Tyrell Jones on the, the tackle. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Tigers. We're at a minute 23 to go here in the half. They'll have it first and 10 at the 33 or 37. And looking to throw and throws it out, got his man. And they'll step out of bounds at the 43 yard line. Be second down and six, seven, five. Second down and five. So second and five, we got a minute 12 left here in the first half. Tigers again, one wide out each way. Now they're going to split out, going to go trips to the left, one wide out right. Out of the pistol, looking to throw is Dampier. Dampier going downfield. It's going to be caught. And Bears going to hold him up. And finally, they'll blow the whistle dead. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. And they'll hold the clock long enough to move the chains. And Georgetown going to go. Trips right this time, one wide out left. Back to throw again is, and he's going to throw the outside, going to throw that one away. And the Bears are going to pick up a roughing the passer penalty. Roughing the passer. And that would be... Uh, Tyrese Allen picking up the penalty. That's a 54 seconds left. That's what they didn't need right there. Bad penalty for the Bears because he was obviously throwing it out of bounds to stop the clock. And let's see. Tyrese Allen being attentive. Looks like that's a cramp, so he'll be right back, back on the field, off the field here in a moment. Big penalty moves the ball down to the 34 yard line, first and 10. And just under a minute to play here. And they'll go with twins to the right, one wide out left. Well, be trips right, one wide out. Now they're going to move again. Fish are going to move it to the other hash mark. And let's see now what's the lineup going to be. It'll be trips to the left, one wide out right. In the shotgun, looking to throw. Bears trying to get some pressure on him. And this time they're going to get the sack. So Dampier. Number four, Troy Hill and 97. So 97 is Ivan the Sledgehammer Sledge with the tackle. So he gets half a sack. It'll be second down and 12. Here, as soon as this timeout comes back out, both teams getting over to talk about it. Bears need to stop right here, though. You know, that was a nice play. They'll bring up that. Georgetown had to stop it to stop the clock, more, than, more or less. They've got their last timeout, so they can only stop the clock with an incomplete pass or a first down from here on out. Bears get one, two more stops here real quick. A, bit, a turnover would be huge right now. That would be something the Bears could really use. 
see what they can do with it as they come back out onto the field. Here come the Tigers breaking their huddle over on the far side. And we're ready to go back to play. And trips to the right, one wide out. Well, yeah, trips right, one wide out left. And Dampier back to throw. Bears trying to put some pressure on Dampier, rolling out. Got time, going toward the end zone. It is going to be caught for a touchdown. Ter it was Will Thomas on the touchdown. All he did was get and that was that was just that's a backbreaker right there. It was a terrible play. Bears had all kinds of time. Somebody should have been on him on top of that and not give him that opportunity to go up and get one. And here comes the extra point attempt as the Tigers take the 31-16 lead. Come the extra point attempt. It is up and it is good. And it's 32 16. Tigers over the Bears with 38 seconds left here in the first half. We'll be right back. This is the U Pike Sports Network. Showing Coach Holland walking down the sidelines there. He can't be happy with that play as, you know, the Bears the Bears had played pretty up for most of the first half. They played some good defense, really. And then here in the last few minutes, they've given up uh, 16 points. Or 14 points, I'm sorry. Well, no, 16 points, yeah. The uh, two-point, just, just a tough, tough way for the Bears of safety and uh, two touchdowns. Just not a good... Not a good performance here at the end of this first half. See what they see if they can do anything to try to make up for it here. See what Georgetown will do with it. As Klein ready to kick it away. And it will be a squib kick up the middle. Bears will fall on it at the 30. So the Bears got a chance, uh, you know, maybe air out a couple, see if they can get a shot downfield. Don't want to throw the interception, but, you know, you might want to take a shot, try to loosen this defense up some. And let's see. Bear, they're just going to take the snap. I think they're just going to go into the halftime and regroup, come back out as they're going to just – down it, and that'll be the end of the first half. 32-16, Tigers leading the Bears here at the Hamley Athletic Complex. We'll watch them leave the field here. We've got about 25 seconds left, no more time on the clock. So that'll wrap it up here for the first half. 32-16, Georgetown. This is the U-Pike Sports Network.
Welcome back to Hamley Athletic Complex. It's 32-16 here at the half. And the Bears, like we were just talking, some of the some people come by, just a little bit of undisciplined football there in the last eight minutes of that second quarter. And they're down by 16. Go through some numbers for you. Of course, Georgetown, 32 points on 13 first downs. They were 12, they only carried the ball 12 times for 50 yards. 188 yards passing on 20, 17 of 26 passing. 38 offensive plays for a total of 238 yards. Uh, they had one punt return for seven yards, two kickoffs for 87. Had five punts, averaging 41 yards. Two penalties for 30 yards and total possession time of 36.03. So they had, and the Bears, 16 points on eight first downs. They were had 15 rushes for 103 yards, ran the ball well. Had 10 of 17 passing for 112 yards. 32 offensive plays, total 215 yards. So the numbers were really close. Should, the score should be closer than it is. Uh, three punts, average of 40 yards apiece. Five yards, that was a little bit of a problem. Quickly, uh, individual rushing numbers. Eight carries for Sanders, for eight for 95 yards. Nice, one, four for 12. Had uh, Lee Kirkland was 10 of 17 for 112, one touchdown. Damian Sutton caught five of those for 49 yards. Ben Henson, two for two. Randy Reminon had one catch for 47 yards. And DeAndre Stafford had one catch for 10 yards. Joseph Sandoff, Dorf punted for 122 yards, a 40-yard average. We'll go quickly. Tyrell Jones led the team with two tackles, two or four tackles, one tackle for loss. Abels had three tackles. Sledge had three tackles, and Troy Hill had three tackles for the Bears. Quickly for the Tigers, they were led in rushing by Kramer, one or, or with one one carry for 25 yards. Babb four for 16. Conley, two for nine. Barber, two for four. Dampier was 16 of 24 for 178 yards and three touchdowns. Hunter Krause came in and threw one, t one two passes and completed one of them. And receiving, Barber had four for, 82, for 42. Thomas, three for 83. Jones, three for 26. And Johnson, three for 21. And we're ready to go back to second half play here as the Bears will receive the Kickoff from the Georgetown Tigers. And here we go. Tigers, another high floater of a kick. It'll be taken at about the 28-yard line, trying to get up and behind. And can't turn it upfield. It's going to go back to about the 22-yard line. Sutton on the return, he said. I think it was uh, Ben Henson on the return, wasn't it? Number eight. And it'll be first and 10 from the 21 yard line now for the Bears. Probably should have took that one and went straight up the field, trying to get behind his blockers, but just couldn't catch up with them. And the Bears will come out with twins to the left, one wide out right. Kirkland will go out of the shotgun. And a nice hole block in the middle, breaks a tackle, gets out, picks up about 10, maybe 11 yards on the play. Be first and 10 Bears. That was Sanders on the carry. So first and 10 Bears, good start to the second half for the Bears on that run. Twins left, one wide out right. And Kirkland again going to hand it off, going to the other side with it, and he's going to get about three yards on the play. We'll call it second down and seven. Puts the ball at the 36-yard line. So we'll call it second and seven. Bears will come out now with twins to the right. One wide, or twins both ways now. They're going to spread, nope, twins to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland in the shotgun. Takes the snap and throws quickly downfield, and that's going to be caught. No, incomplete. Bring up second down, or third down and seven. 
I think he thought he was going to get an offsides, and I thought he had an offsides penalty. I thought they jumped, but no flag came out. So that was kind of one of those, you know, we take a shot, you know, when you when you get that uh, free play was what we were expecting. So third and seven. Bears really need to convert here, try to keep the drive going. They need to make some noise here to start this third quarter. Twins right, one wide out left. Kirkland in the shotgun. Has steps up into the pocket, fires in right through the hands. We got a flag, though. And what's the call going to be here? We're going to get a hold on the Bears. Is that what's going to be? That's what the Tigers are calling for. And the officials are going to ask him what to do. Are they going to back them up? Looks like they're going to back them up. Looks like it'll be a holding call for the Bears. They're going to decline the pit. It'll be fourth down and seven, so the Bears will punt it away. Not a good start for the Bears. Looked like they were going to move the football. Got one first down and then just kind of stalled out a little bit. Dropping back to return is Darius Barber. And Sandorf on to punt it away for the Bears. Bears got everybody set up. Sandorf waiting the snap. Georgetown coming after him a little bit. Sandorf gets a nice little punt away. Takes a U-Pike bounce and it'll roll down inside the 20 yard line to the 17 looks like. So first and 10 there for the Georgetown Tigers. So Tigers will have it first and 10. Hopefully the Bear defense is settled down here in the second half, gets a little bit better jump. See if the D can make a stop here, maybe get a three and out, give the Bears another shot offensively. Need to keep the Tigers out of the end zone for the, for a while. And Tiger will hand it off up the middle. And he gets up to about the 20. Gain of a couple. See, is that uh, 30 on the carry? That's Nick Conley. So bring up second down and seven now. Well, that's second down and eight for the Tigers. Troy Hill for the Bears on the tackle. In the shotgun again is Dampier. Back to look to throw. Going to throw it across the middle. Got his man. And he's got plenty of room. Bears will run him out of bounds after a pickup of a bunch. That was Darius Barber on the catch. So first and 10 now for the Tigers at the 47-yard line. 12.38 to play here in this third quarter as the Tigers are moving the football again. Slot each way, wide out wide to the right. In the pistol this time. And this time they're going to hand it off up the middle, and there's a hole. And he's going to get up to about the 30 or 46-yard line, be a gain of seven. Second down and three coming up now for the Tigers. And I believe, again, that was uh, Bab on the carry. So 12 minutes now to go here in the third quarter. The Bears, Bears really got to settle down here and get something going defensively. In the pistol. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Dampier gets everybody ready, takes the snap, looking to throw. Dampier back in the pocket, and that was going to be caught. That's going to be another first down at the 38-yard line for the Tigers. 88 on the catch. Westing. 
So first and 10, Tigers now at the 38. One wide out, wide right, slot right as well. Split backs in the backfield. And he's going to hand it off to the second man. That's number four. And he's going to pick up about eight more. Darius Barber on the carry. Abel gets the tackle, but uh, gain of eight, second down and two. Georgetown just gashing the Bears right now. See if the Bears, got, they got to get something going on the defensive end. That ball resting right at the 30, giving them the short field. Bears got to get a couple stops here. Twins right, one wide out left. And again, they're going to hand it off up the middle. And the big boys just rambling down the field right now. That is Conley. Tigers right now just gashing the Bears on the run game. Thirty-two sixteen, Tigers lead and threatening again. They've got it uh, first and ten from the fifteen in the red zone. They'll have a slot each way, a wide out, wide right. Out of the pistol, they're going to hand it off again, and we got a whistle. I believe that's going to be on Georgetown, I think. What's the? Well, maybe not. We had the flag, but he picked it back up, I think. So what do we have here? Well, we got to we got to have we got to have a discussion. You know, we got to figure it out. We can't we can't just make a decision and go with it. Not tonight. And they're still talking about it. I guess we're going to officiate by committee. How many times we're going to vote on it before? Now we're going to go talk to the Tigers coaching staff. I mean, I don't understand all I, I know about this. You know, so I guess there's no there's no flag on the play. He picked the flag up, so there's no call. So it's a do-over. First down and ten. Nothing. And he's handed off up the middle. And going to pick up of about four. Let's see that on the tackle. Luke Atkinson on the tackle. And Seneca Fuller also. We we'll call it a gain of three, second down and seven. And twins to the right, split backs in the backfield again. Here comes motion. Look for him to. He's gonna try to throw it. A little one on one and over throw, throws his receiver. He was open. So second down, third down and seven. Nine fifteen now to play here in the third quarter. 32-16, Georgetown with the lead. But they are threatening. They have it third and seven from the 12. Taking a long time with the huddle here. Getting the call signaled in from the sideline. Going to run... Wide out, wide left, slot each way out of the pistol, looking to throw and throwing it downfield. That's going to be caught. We're going to be short of the first down. Be fourth and one, and we have a flag. Tackle was by Cedric Thomas. Let's see what the flag is here. And they're talking about it. White hat. Well, we're going to get a call this time. Unsportsmanlike on the Bears. 
That'll be half the distance goal line to first down. So they make the stop, and then they give up the uh, first down on the penalty. And one wide out, split wide right, slot right as well. Split backs in the backfield. And this time we'll hand it number four. He gets bumped in the backfield. Bears come up and make the play on this one. That was Darius Barber on the carry. Chris Dublin leading the charge on that one. So we'll bring up second down and goal from the three. No, second down and goal from the five. So second and goal from the five. They're going to spread it out. Twins to the trips to the left, one wide out right. Pistol formation in the backfield. And looking to throw. Trying to throw to the end zone. He's being chased, and he's going to throw it on the run. It'll be... Out of bounds, incomplete. So third and five. So third down and goal now from the five yard line for the Tigers. Tigers on top, 32-16. And he'll come back up the line of scrimmage. Dampier will go under center. He got split backs behind him. One wide out and a slot to the right side. Going to bring the slot into motion. He's looking to throw again. Bears have some pressure, and they're going to flush him out of the pocket. He's been incomplete. Nice defense that time by the Bears. Breakup was by Troy Hill, I think he said, number four. So fourth and goal now from the five. Georgetown is going to attempt the field goal. It'll be a 22-yard attempt. 22-yard field goal attempt here. Waiting for the snap. They get the snap down. Bears don't get to it, and field goal's good. It'll be 35-16 with 8.17 to play here in the third quarter. This is the U-Pike Sports Network. Complex 8-17 to play here in the third quarter, 35-16. Tigers and the Bears have got to get something going here. You know, they played a really good first quarter and most of the second quarter, and then they've just kind of been – Georgetown's kind of got their number here in the last eight minutes of that first half. And this, and the start of this second half, they put a field goal on the board to start the second half. Bears, see if they can get something. Georgetown would have been – not been kicking the ball deep because Bears had a pretty good return so far this season. And I think Georgetown thinks they can cover them better on the short pooch kicks or pop-up kicks. Look at it, look at it probably about the 30, 35 yard line where they'll kick it to. And they line it up and it looks like going to kick it over here to this, to the right side of the field. And it, they do, right about the 30-yard line. It's going to be taken there and trying to get to the outside, and the Bears get to about the 34. <laughs> Alex was at 10 on the, Alexander Shelton on the return. Let's see if the Bears can get something going on the offensive end now. Kirkland will bring his troops back out. Twins to the right. 
stacked over here to the right side and split, uh, twin split to the left. Kirkland will go out of the shotgun. Town showing the blitz and that's going to be Nice on the carry. You get out to about the 37 yard line. Gain of about four. Second down and six. Bad, bad gain of three. So second and seven. Twins right, one wide out left. Kirkland out of the shotgun. And Kirkland going to throw it across the middle. Got his man. And Artis Clark trying to get to the outside. And boy, nice tackle in the open field to bring in Artis Clark. That was number 24 for the Tigers, Kyron Simpson. And Simpson made a great open field tackle on a, a good running wide receiver, Artis Clark. But he's a first down for the Bears at the 34 yard line, or 43 yard line, sorry. Twins right, one wide out left. Kirkland takes the snap and he's going to hand it off. And again, that's Nice just carrying them across the 40. And it'll be, they're going to mark him right at the 40 yard line, gain of three, second down and seven. Six forty-five to play here in the third quarter. Bears able to move the football over here. See if they can get on the board again. Twins left, one wide out right. Kirkland takes it and looking to throw. They got a man open and makes makes the pass. Good good strong tackle. Nine, Randy Raymond, and he is tackled by Bob Sheffield. And he'll bring up third down and four. Third down and three. So third down and three coming up for the Bears. Twins to the right, one wide out left. Out of the pistol. And he's going to throw it. And got his man. Ortiz Clark takes it down inside the 10. First and goal. So Ortiz Clark gets it. They'll mark him at the. Well, they're going to mark him at the eight. Nine, the nine yard line. Twins right, one wide out left. And this time he's going to hand it off up the middle. And he's going to get down to about the six. That's Sanders on the carry. And runs into a den of bear or tigers or pride of tigers I guess it would be wouldn't it so second down in six now or second down in goal from the six Sanders will be the single setback one wide out split wide left one wide right they'll bring motion back up the middle and again they're going to hand it to Sanders Sanders trying to squirt through and he'll get down Where they're going to mark him at the five. Yep. Gain of a yard. Third and goal now from the five. And now they'll bring Nice in from the sideline. Got a couple Bears making changes. They'll bring changing personnel. Twins right. Getting everybody set. Again, it'll be twins right. Out of the shotgun. Bring motion back up the middle. And they're going to throw it toward the end zone and incomplete. So bring up fourth and goal now from the five. I think you got to go for it here. I think you need, you need six. I don't think you need to take a chance. Fourth down. See what they can do. They'll come out with trips to the right, one wide out left. Out of the shotgun. Nice, the single setback, and he's looking to throw. 
Throwing toward the end zone again, and that was going to be caught. Can he get there? No. Going to go down at the one, and it'll be short of the goal line, so they'll turn it over on downs. Now the D's going to have to stand up. They're going to say the ball's on the two-yard line. They're going to mark him just shy of the two, right at the two-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 coming up for the Tigers. And Tigers will line up. It's split backs in the backfield, one wide out, wide right. Long snap count. They're going to hand it off, and they're going to let him carry it up, and he's – we're going to get him out to about the nine-yard line. Bears got it. They, they can't let that happen. They've got to get in there and get some tackles. So second down and two, ball at the 10-yard line. Bears going to have to get a stop here. Can't give up that kind of a run in that, in that spot on the field, though. Under center, split backs again. And they're going to run it up middle again. And he's going to have a first down. Gains about two. That, that's 30 Conley on the carry. Collins on the tackle for the Bears. So first and 10 now from the 13-yard line coming up for the Tigers. 2.50 to go here in the third. Under center, split backs behind him again is Dampier. And he's going to hand it off again. And again, he's going to run it down across the 15 to the 17-yard line. That is uh, 43, okay. No, number three on the carry, wasn't it? Uh, White. It'll be first and 10. Second down and six, I'm sorry, coming up for the Tigers. And it'll be twins to the left, one wide out right. Back to throw. Going downfield, and it's going to be incomplete. I think they're going to so bring up third down and six now for the Tigers. Minute 48 left here in the third quarter. In this third quarter, you know, Georgetown's been able to eat the clock up. One wide out, split wide to the right, one left, slot each way. Out of the shotgun. We got a flag. False start on the Tigers. They'll back them up five, make it third down and 11. Bears caught a break there. Maybe they can take advantage of it here, get the ball back, get some good field position out of this, try to get, try to get something going defend, offensively. But the defense needs to make a stop here. They don't need to give up another big pass play, which is kind of what's happened on third downs. Rolling out, wanting to throw. Dampier, and he's trying to throw a bullet, and if he catches it, it's a first down. Yeah. First down. I mean, you know, Bears got to make those stops. They've got to step up and make that play. No, incomplete. Okay. So fourth down and 11. My bad. I thought he gave the catch signal. Sanders will be back deep for the Bears. 
Marys could use a nice return here and get some good field position. But I will say, I will say so far, though, Edwards has done an excellent job punting for the Tigers. Gets a nice hang time on it. Gives his team a chance to get down there and cover it. And, again, a nice – and they're going to get away from it. And it takes a giant bounce for the Tigers. And back to the 33, maybe the 32-yard line, 33. That was a, another, another great punt. First and 10 now for the Bears. They've got to get something going off. They've got to move the football. You know, I don't really – that they've not been able to establish the run here in the second half. Maybe they need to take a shot deep, try to loosen up that defense again. They did that early in the, in the first quarter. And when they threw it deep, that loosened that defense up and allowed them to run the football. Twins right, and they'll go twins both ways now. Kirkland in the shotgun. Takes a snap and looking to throw. Throws it across the middle. Clark got the catch, breaks a tackle, and goes down at the 49-yard line of Georgetown. First and 10 Bears. 35-16, Georgetown with the lead. We got a minute 15 left in this third quarter. And first and 10 Bears. Trips to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland in the shotgun. And this time he's going to hand it up the middle. And a gain of a couple. Is that Sanders? Oh, got 35 on the carry, sorry. That is Madako. Trips right, one wide out left. And again, he's going to hand it off to the outside, and nice run by Madako out to about the 40-yard line. Picks up seven. Bring up second down, third down and about one. Bears don't have to get it, but they got a chance to get one more play off here in the third quarter. Trips right, one wide out left. Kirkland, we'll reset everybody. And if they're going to get a playoff, they need to hurry. Trips right, one wide out left. Kirkland takes a snap, and he's going to hand it off to Madako. And second effort got him a first down, I believe. They're going to mark him right at the 39-yard line, first and 10 Bears. That's the end of the third quarter, 35-16, Georgetown. This is the U-Pike Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex as the Bears trail 35-16 as we head into the fourth quarter, but they do have it first and 10 at the 40-yard line, line of, or 40 yard line of Georgetown. See if they can get something going on the offensive end here, get some points on the board, try to uh, change this thing up a little bit. Looking back to the sideline, both teams getting their final instructions here to start this fourth quarter. See what they can do with it as the Bears struggling to move the football here in this. Well, they moved the football in the third quarter, needed a touchdown, and then had to turn it over to one yard line. Really need to kind of pick it up, pick it up, maybe pick up a big play or two here and there. And here come the Tigers back out, and then the Bears coming off the sideline as well. And he'll come out now with trips to the right for the Bears. Kirkland in the shotgun. Kirkland going to hand it off up the middle and nothing there. Going to lose a yard. That's Medeco on the carry again. Second down and 11 coming up now for 
the Bears. Bears again look, looks like it's going to be twins to the right. One wide out left. Getting their call from the sideline here. And they're ready to go. Single set back this time will be. There's motion coming across, and he's going to go down with it. Missed broken play that time. And I don't know exactly what happened, but it was not what they wanted it to see. Kirkland will take the loss. It'll be a moves the ball back to the 44 yard line. It'll be third down and 15. And coming back into the ball game is Jaden Neese now at the tailback. Bears left, twins right, one wide out left. Everybody set. And Kirkland taking it, looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket, downfield, incomplete. And it'll bring up fourth and 15. I think you go for it here at this point on the field, but maybe not. Fourth and 15, so maybe maybe the yardage part is why they're not going to go for it. We got a time. Do we have a timeout on the field, or nope? Both teams switching out, and it looks like they're going to punt it away. Sandorf will punt it. 35-16, Georgetown leading. 13-26 to play. Goes fourth and 15. I guess that's the distance is long. Sandorf gets one up, and boy, it's a nice one. The Bears can down this one at about the one-yard line, and they do. Good punt by Sandorf. Sandorf. And Seneca Fuller downs it for the Bears. And it'll be first and ten from the one-yard line. One yard line now for the Tigers. Bears could use a, a really nice play right here. A sack or a tackle for loss right now would be huge. Bears could get a safety, maybe get the ball back real quick. First and 10, Georgetown. Under center. Dampier. And Dampier going to run a quarterback sneak. Let's see, is he in the end zone or not? Nope, they're going to give him forward progress. So the Dampier trying to sneak it out of there. No gain on the play. Bears put up a wall this time. Second and goal. Second and ten now from the one. One wide out wide to the right. And this time he's going to hand it off to the big boy up the middle. And he's going to get out to the four. Bring up a third down by Conley. So third and six coming up now. Bears can get a nice stop here. They, can get, they should be able to get good field position back. So third and six coming up. Clock ticking down, 12-15 left in the ball game. Tigers going to split twins to the right. Dampier will be under center. Bears looking like they're coming after it, and he's looking to throw out of his own end zone, throwing deep. And it is going to be caught. That catch was Will Thomas. I tell you, Will Thomas has been a great relief valve for him. He sends him deep, and they seem nobody seems to be able to cover him. First down out at the 42. Had them where you wanted them, and you give up the big play again. They've done that last in the last quarter and a half. They've given up a lot of those plays to that same that same man. Pistol formation. And he's looking to hand it off up the middle. Not much this time, a couple. And that was Zach Babb on the carry. 
And the tackle was Alex Horn. So we're down to 11 minutes left here in the ball game. Second down and eight coming up for the Tigers. The Bears trail 35-16. One wide out, split wide to the left. Slot each way. Out of the pistol, looking to throw again. And he's throwing it deep. Got a man out, steps out of bounds. And this time it is Aaron Maggard for the catch. First and 10 at the 40-yard line for the Tigers. Clock ticking away with 10.32 to play. Now let's see. Tigers come back up the line of scrimmage. They'll go under center this time. Wide out in the slot to either side. Dampier takes their best man in motion. Takes a snap and looking with a draw coming out of the backfield. And that's... That, so that's 30 on the carry. That's Conley. And Quentin Murphy on the tackle. So second down and nine coming up with 940 to play here in the ballgame. Tigers go trips to the left, one wide out right. Dampier under center. And he's going to quick drop and throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Third down and nine coming up for the Tigers. So we got coming in out of the huddle, getting ready to bring in another running back maybe. They do. They bring in. Bethel at a running back. Pistol formation, twin, slotting a wide out to each side. And he's looking to throw again. Now he's going to spin it out to Bethel. And Bethel cuts back, and he'll be close to a first down. It's going to bring up fourth down and one. Let's see. And he'll bring up fourth down and one. They're going to, obviously, they'll go for it here. 8.55 to play. Tigers come back up under center. May see a quarterback sneak. And you do. And does he get it? They're going to give it to him. Gets a couple of yards. It'll be first and 10. Dampier gets the carry for the first down, 35-16. Tigers lead. They've got 8.38 to play, and they're threatening again. They've got the ball at the 28-yard line. One wide out, split wide right, slot each way. Dampier in the pistol, and they're going to run it again up the middle, and that's going to be Conley on the carry. Tackle was by Trevor Jones. No. Nope. Troy Hill, sorry, wrong number four. So second down and eight coming up now for the Tigers. We got eight minutes left in the ball game. Wide out in a slot to either side. Pistol formation again for Dampier. Dampier looking to throw and throws it, and it's going to be caught. That's uh, – Looked like it was 81 on the catch. Noah Creamer. And it'll be a first and 10 for the Tigers at the 15-yard line. And let's see. They're going to run players. Tigers getting their clay from the sideline. Approaching the seven-minute mark here. Start to just drive at their own one-yard line. Pistol formation. Dampier looking to throw again. 
And Dampier being chased this time throws it. It'll be incomplete. Throws it out of bounds. Seven minutes or 6.58 to play here in the ball games. 35-16, Georgetown with the lead. They'll have it second down and 10. From the 15-yard line. Bears have not been able to make the big plays since midway of the second quarter. Twins left, one wide out right. Pistol formation for Dampier. Now he'll step out into the shotgun. Back to throw. Dampier looking down the middle outside. He's got his man, and it's going to be a gain of about four. That was uh, 88 is T.J. Whitstein. It'll bring up third down and seven. Ball on the 12-yard line. Tigers again have trips this time to the right side, one wide out left. Dampier in the pistol. Takes the snap and looking, we got a whistle. False start on the offense. Five yard penalty, moves the ball back. It'll be third down and 12. to go. Bears trailing 35-16. And Tigers in the huddle trying to get everything set. Ball out at the 20-yard line now. Well, ball out at the 17-yard line. And back to throw again. Is Dampier, he's going to the end zone. He's got a man there, and he can't catch it. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Fourth down and 12. Ball at the 18, and looks like they're going to attempt a field goal here maybe. It'll be about a 36, 35-yard attempt. Be going to spot it at the 25-yard line. See Bears get a block here, maybe. Waiting on the snap. Kick is up. It's got the distance. It looks good. And it is. It's 38-16. Georgetown with 6.01 to play. We'll be right back. This is the Upike Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex, 38-16. Georgetown with the lead. Tigers getting ready to come back out, and they played well here midway the second quarter. They've been just about unstoppable. Bears have not been able to stop. It was tied at 16, and then they've they've scored uh, 22 unanswered points here, and the Bears just don't seem to have an answer for them. They've had they've, they've held them in, in third and long situations, but giving up the big play. Giving up a couple fourth downs, a couple field goals. I mean, I don't. I think Georgetown last five, they haven't punted the ball, but maybe once here in the second half. So Bears ready to try to see Georgetown probably go again with the pooch kick out to about the 30-yard line. Let's see what. Let's see if they continue that or if they start kicking it deep. And again, it's going to be the short pop-up kick. He'll be taken at the 30-yard line. Trying to get to the outside. Cuts back in. Makes a nice cut. Gets out across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. And it was Shelton on the carry. So Alexander Shelton gets the ball out to the 41-yard line for the Bears. 
5.55 to play here in the ball game. Bears come out with twins each way. Shotgun formation for Lee Kirkland. Kirkland fakes it, throws it down the middle, got his man. He's got a first down and more. Breaks another tackle. Finally, they get him down at about the 24-yard line. That's uh, Damian Sutton with a nice catch and run on that one. And the tackle brought him down was by Kyron Simpson for the Tigers. So first and 10 coming up now for the Bears. Twins each way. Kirkland in the shotgun and back looking to throw. Now he's under pressure and he's going to be sacked. And sacked by Colin Smith, a senior out of Van Wert, Ohio for the Tigers. And let's see. Bring up second down and 20 now for the Bears. Trips to the left, one wide out right. Kirkland in the shotgun. And the Tigers are going to pin their ears back and just come after him now, I would imagine. And he's going to throw it deep again, and it's going to be picked. Number 10 with the pick, that is. We don't have a number 10. We don't have a number 10 on the roster we gave us, so. So, so 38-16, Tigers with 4.50 to play, and they've got the football heading the other way. Georgetown will come back out on the field. Bears defense back. Let's see. Dampier in the pistol. Wide out to the left and two slots. And we'll hand it up the middle. Going to get a couple yards on the play. Number six on the carry, that's Abernathy. So gain of two, second down and eight. And the Tigers... Clocks their friend right now. They're not going to stop it if they don't have to. Second down and eight coming up. One wide out, wide to the right. Slot to either side. And again, they're going to hand it off. And again, it's Abernathy on the carry. So Hunter Asher and Anthony Collins on the tackle for the Bears. Anthony Collins, also another play number 50, Hunter Asher. So I'll bring up third down and three now for the Tigers. A pistol formation. Wide out wide to the right, and again, they're going to hand it off. I believe that's Abernathy. No, we, we got 25 on the carry. 25 on the carry is Bryson Cobb. That'll bring up fourth down and three. Tigers may punt it away here with three minutes, 10 seconds to play. Be under three before they have to kick it away. And they'll take their time. We've got 18 seconds on the play clock. Tigers get everybody set. And Johnson to kick it away. Puts another high floater out there, and it's going to have to be fair caught by the Bears. Did he fumble it? And Tigers come away with the fumble on the fair catch, Muff. Two thirty left in the ball game. Thirty-eight sixteen. Looks like the Bears going to drop one to the Tigers. 
Tigers. Colt Asher had made the fair catch, the freshman out of Whitley County, and couldn't hold it down to the ground and fumbled it. Looked like the Tigers will try to run it, I would imagine, from here. Got a different quarterback in there now. Tackle. That's Abernathy on the carry. Have a new quarterback in the ball game. Drew Hartz, the new quarterback in for the Tigers. And Hartz in the huddle. Two minutes left in the ball game. Second down and nine. Abernathy and the Bears are going to call a timeout. No official timeout. Let some, okay, let some players change in and out. And both teams making substitutions here. Hearts. And in the backfield is Abernathy with him. Hearts under center. Takes it. And Hearts looking to throw quickly downfield. And it's out of behind him, out of bounds. Hearts. So. <laughs> Drew Hart's the new quarterback, as we said. So third down and nine coming up for the Tigers. Minute 40 left in the ball game. I think this one out of the pistol. Hart's wide receiver wide to the left and the slot each way. And Hart's. Going to hand it off in the backfield. And I believe they said it was 25 on the carry. Bryson Cobb. And fourth down and about nine coming up now for the Tigers. Minute 20 left in the ball game. They can run the clock down to under a minute before they take a snap. Thirty-eight sixteen. Tigers are going to come away with a big win here, and we're down to one minute to play. They may take the will they take the delay game, or they're going to call a timeout. They're going to call a timeout, and fifty-one seconds left. We'll take a quick break. Thirty-eight sixteen. Georgetown on the U Pike Sports Network. Welcome back to the Hamley Athletic Complex, 38-16. The Tigers leading the Bears here. And the Tigers have it fourth down and nine with 51 seconds left. So I don't know if they'll take a snap here or not. And Luke Atkinson's dad just uh, saying goodbye to him. I watched his son play for eight years now, played four years at, El at uh, Shelby Valley. Dad been with him every minute of the way. Give him a lot of, give him a shout out there. And Tigers come back out, one wide out wide to the right, going out of the shot, or pit, under center, sorry. And he's looking, wanting to throw. Going downfield, and the Bears are going to stop on, take over on downs here with 44 seconds left. See, what will the Bears, will they run a play or will they just take a snap and take this one to the, let this one go to the house? So, 
Bears will have it first and 10. Ball will be on the 32-yard line. Kirkland will go out and take the snap. And they're going to go with trips to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland out of the shotgun. And we have a timeout, Georgetown. 44 seconds left, 38 16. Yeah, we wouldn't want, want to waste one. You know, might as well use all you can here in this one. You know, you only got the 38 16 point, 38 16 lead, 44 seconds. But, you know, hey, you know, I guess you coach all the way to the last minute. Get ready for that next game, whenever that may be. And whatever it is, Tigers came right back. Bears getting their final instructions for the final, what could be the final play of the game. And they come back out. Trips again to the right, one wide out left. Kirkland out of the shotgun. And they're going to run it. Trying to go down, taking it off down the field. He's going to go. He's may, he may go all the way. Down inside the 10 5 touchdown, Bears. <laughs> yep, I see it on, probably see an onside kick here. I mean, it's two point conversion, probably. 38 22. So let's see what the Bears will do. Will they kick the extra point or they go for two here? Yeah, I think they're going to go for two. You see, I think you have to. Nope, they're going to kick it. Headley ready to try to put it through, and it's up. Looks good. And it's... 38-23. 31 seconds left. Well, you think anybody, you think anybody in the stadium thinks this thing's going to go more than 10 yards? <laughs> As the Bears will obviously onside kick here to see if they can get another shot at it. You know. And both teams on the sideline waiting for the official. I think you got a minute between quarters timeout. Both of them are using that to their advantage. And Coach Al Hall, I mean, you got to keep coaching, though, guys. I mean, that's that's the thing because th this is not – these are a lot of kids that be coming back. you got to keep that emotion, keep them ready to play, even if your next game is in the fall. And, you know, been around this a lot. I've seen a few games over the years. And – Bears come back out and get ready to kick it away. And Zaniel Phillips to kick it for the uh, place kicker. And it looks like it's going to be more than 99% sure it's going to be an onside kickoff. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Both teams got their... Look at the numbers up there, and it's pretty obvious all of them are backs and receivers. Phillips ready to kick it away here. And did it, did it okay, well, Georgetown recovered it. So 29 seconds. Didn't go the 10 yards, I don't think, anyway, so. But I guess you can, can you can receive it before the 10 yards, yeah. You just can't touch it on the defensive end. 29 seconds left. Georgetown probably will just take a knee here, but who knows. So they can take the win home at 38-23. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they're in the victory formation. 
who we got at quarterback. I can't see down there. I'm assuming that's going to be Drew Hartz, but I may be wrong. And that is, should be the last play of the ball game, 38-23. The Tigers over the Bears here. And a big win, and the Bears, you know, finish the season up three and four, I believe, or three and four on the young season here in the spring. So we'll take a break. We'll be back with some stats and comments in just a few moments. This is the Intermountain Sports Network. Hey, brother. 